Gamers on Games is sponsored in part by and by viewers like you. Hey guys, this is Dave for Gamers on Games. Uh, we're doing something a little bit different this time. Instead of doing an actual video, we're doing this more in a podcast style. Um, honestly, let us know what you think. So, um, yeah, here we go. So, a uh, bunch of things that we wanted to cover and a bunch of topics we really kind of need to uh, delve into. So, it's going to be a long list, and this is probably going to be a little bit of a lengthy episode. So, I hope that you stick with us throughout the whole thing. So, the first thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is uh, various Kickstarters that are going on. And some of the ones that we've been uh, talking about, showing off, and supporting. And we're hoping that you guys will help them as well. Uh, especially considering a number of them are reaching their end. So, first one we wanted to get to is Island Dice. Uh, you've seen various ads for it, you've seen coverage of it, and uh, we actually have some new videos that have gone up recently and new ones that will be coming soon, so uh, keep an eye out for those. Uh, pardon me, I think I'm getting over or coming down with something considering the recent weather that we've been having here in Jersey. So Island Dice is currently holding it at about uh, $14,000 out of the 21000 uh, that they need, well 21 uh, 1,500 that they need. They have five, three days left to uh, make it. So I highly recommend you check it out. Uh, we'll put a link down in the description below. So check that out. And uh, also, I think they're talking about it on their Facebook page as well as uh, Kickstarter Board Games group on Facebook. Uh, another one that we wanted to kind of point your attention to is Terminus Gate. I know that you guys have seen us do the uh, the live uh, show of it. We did it last week. Uh, they are currently holding at uh, five thousand out of the fifty thousand dollars that they need. They still have eleven days to go, so they've got a chance of making it. But we highly recommend you check it out. The miniatures are actually pretty cool looking, though I have to admit that the one did break on me. So I'm hoping that's something that can be rectified and better designed so that uh, the arm doesn't just fall off. Though I have a feeling that that may have also been from multiple demos, multiple wear and tear, you know, that kind of thing. Again, the game looked good. Um, we enjoyed it immensely. Um, for those of you who have not seen the video, we'll put a link to that in the description below. I highly recommend that you guys check it out. Uh, the game does play pretty quick. I mean, once we figured out exactly how things run, we were just zipping right through it. So, Terminus Gate, it's uh, by Spider Monkey Games. Uh, I highly recommend you check it out. And, uh, you know, help them, help them reach your goal. I mean, they've got uh, a little over 10% as it is, so go for it. Okay, so next up, Seven Sins. Uh, it's a card game that uh, I did a uh, review and playthrough of uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, they are kind of really struggling. They're only a little over $1,000 out of the 8500 that they need, but they have 21 days left to make it. So... I highly recommend you check it out. It's a very cool little card game. It's all uh, about being, you know, sinful, but not the most sinful. You know, be runner-up. Very cool little game. I definitely enjoyed it. I'm definitely going to see about adding it into our uh, regular games rotation with my gaming group. So, highly, check it, highly recommend that you check it out if you have not done so already. Uh, next on the list is Exploding Kittens. Now, obviously, they don't really need me to plug them. At this point, they've already reached uh, $6.4 million. But they have raised an amazing debate. And I got into a long discussion about this, uh, actually just yesterday, with various game designers and their associates, talking about whether or not they really needed to be on Kickstarter. Now, my thought was, this is kind of a venture into new ground for them. I'm okay with them being on Kickstarter. I'm really okay with anyone who wants to be on Kickstarter. If you're going to try to do something, yeah, even if you have an established fan base, and you're not sure whether or not you're venturing into a ground that really has a demand, yeah, use Kickstarter. Use it to gauge your interest. I don't really see a problem with it. I know other people will claim that, well, if you're an established company, you shouldn't have to use it. Why venture with capital that could be potentially lost and put your or your company out of business if you can gauge it by um, 
uh, viewer or um, backer response, you know? Those who want to back it and think it's a good idea will do so. Those who don't, won't. So, you know, it's not just for people who are starting out. It's also for people who are trying to figure out whether or not this new direction they want to take their company, take their product, or take their intellectual property is a good one. Obviously, I want to leave this open for debate. Uh, that's why we have a comment section for. So, again, I highly recommend that you go down below, check out the comment section, and uh, let us know your opinion on this. I know it's a very uh, divisive topic, and it's a very divisive uh, uh, debate, but I'm always interested to hear what other people think. I realize that my view is kind of in the minority, but I think that it's a case of it's a tool for anyone who wants to use it as a tool um, to help them or to spread up new ideas or even just change existing ideas. So, uh, if you've stuck with us this long, that was us talking about uh, Kickstarters. So we're going to be moving on to a couple of new things. This is mostly news uh, about us. So, uh... As you guys know, we have just passed Valentine's Day weekend. I hope everybody uh, had a good uh, weekend with their loved ones. Uh, lots of flowers, lots of chocolate, and lots of lovin's. So I hope everybody had a good one. Um, but this is, at least for me, the start of my convention season. Yep. And uh, Gamers on Games is actually going to be in two different locations this year. Um, normally, in February, we just normally attend Dreamation, which is the double exposure convention in uh, Morristown. And that's generally it. However, this year we're going to be splitting our focus. In fact, uh, Richard Galati and Aurora uh, Demon Starter will be in uh, Dreamation in the Morristown Hyatt in uh, Morristown, New Jersey from February 19th through the 22nd at Dreamation. And uh, you can check out the website at www.dexposure.com. Again, we'll uh, have the link to that down in the description below. Uh... Rich is going to be running the wargaming department. Um, this is actually his his first time on staff, as far as I understand. But he's also going to be doing some filming and checking some things out. And I believe Aurora will also be getting some footage for us as well. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what she comes up with this time. And uh, I'm sure you guys would love to see her interviewing and reviewing games and just general convention-oriented things. So... Uh, I hope that you guys really enjoy that and enjoy seeing her and enjoy seeing Rich. Uh, now, that's what they're going to be doing. I, on the other hand, I and my wife, will be actually heading up to Total Con. Now, this is going to be something completely new for us. Uh, we have been invited for, I think at this point, four or five years. Uh, we have had to turn it down uh, multiple times due to obligations to uh, the Double Exposure crew. However, this year we kind of bit the bullet and we decided that... We are going to actually venture out to Massachusetts. So, TotalCon is in Mansfield, Massachusetts. It's the exact same dates. It's uh, the 19th through the 22nd. And it's going to be the uh, Holiday Inn uh, in Mansfield. Uh, you can check out the website for the convention, www.totalcon.com. Uh, again, we will put the uh, link down in the description below. And uh, we are going to be going there, not only as Gamers on Games, but we will also be going as uh, Nighthawk Games, and we will be showing off Dragon Chess and Rampaging Jotun. Yep, so we're going to be showing off both, because uh, I can't give away too much, but I am extremely enthusiastic to mention that we have big news on the horizon for Rampaging Jotun, and... I am I am very eager to share it all with you, but I can't do it until it's official. So um, you're going to have to stay tuned as the news uh, keeps moving forward. Uh, while we are speaking about Rampaging Jotun, and while we are speaking about conventions, Matthias Benici, uh, who is my partner in crime when it comes to uh, Rampaging Jotun and Dragon Chess, will be at uh, Dreamation, and he will be showing off... Well, he'll be definitely showing off uh, Rampaging Jotun, but I'm also leaving him with a copy of... Uh, Dragon Chess for all to play and for him to show off and hopefully he will uh, enjoy running that for you guys. Uh, he already knows he's going to be doing it so it's not like I'm dropping a bomb on him but I really hope that you guys actually enjoy that. Um, now comes the kind of more grave news. I guess we're going to call it grave news. Well here's the deal. Uh, you guys know I plug the Patreon pretty hard but now we need to plug it even harder. Um... Over 
the previous weekend, uh, the staff of the Gamers Realm, and particularly the owner, has informed me that he would uh, appreciate if we started to uh, pay for filming in his store. That being the case, and considering what we really the meager earnings we get out of this uh, out of this uh, podcast and out of the uh, the vidcast, we do need your help. Uh, we need to reach about fifty dollars an episode in order to pay for filming at Gamer Drum. Uh, for those of you who have not been keeping track, the vast majority of our bat reps are done there. Uh, when we get to do filming of charity games, we do it there. And most recently, we've been starting to do filming of Kickstarter promotions at the store. If we can't pay for it, we can't film there. And if we can't film there, well, our production schedule is going to slow down dramatically. And unfortunately, we won't have as much content and we won't have the ability to get as much content to you. And it's going to severely hamstring us. So we desperately need your help. We are $37 an episode right now. And we desperately need to get up and be able to hold at $50 an episode. Now, we generally put out between 8 to 10 episodes um, a month that uh, that we collect on. Uh, we don't collect for the Kickstarter spotlights and the little updates and trying to help promote people. There's a lot of stuff that we don't collect on. So we do a lot of stuff for free. But we desperately need the help. Because at this point, it's a case of... If we can't come up with the money, we're going to have to start potentially shutting the door. And I'd rather not do that. Um, We actually just uh, uh, paid out a major expense to pick up a new camera so that we could uh, produce a higher quality for you guys. Um, We haven't had a chance to shoot anything with it yet. uh, Because literally after I (laughs) the day after I bought it, um, this uh, proclamation came down on us. And I have not... um, We have not had the ability to film anything just yet. So we desperately need your help. Now, to help, you know, give you guys some incentive to help us out, um, we are going to be taking the uh, Patreon goals from markers 40, 45, and 50 and combining it all into one gigantic giveaway. Um, We briefly hit 40 and then immediately dropped right back off it. And that was, of course, right after I said, hey, yes, we're going to do the giveaway for it. And we we dropped off it, so that's why I had to unfortunately say, well, it unfortunately relocked, because actually Patreon relocked it for me. Um, and that's why we didn't do it. So, what we're going to be giving away, in case you haven't been keeping track, is going to be the General Drake figures. We have two of them. We have the Blackstone Fortress for, uh, uh, Battlefleet Gothic. Oh, the General Drake figures are for Cav, by the way. So, we have two metal General Drake figures for Cav. We have the Blackstone Fortress model, which is for, uh, Battlefleet Gothic. And then we have the Ruins of Middle-Earth Terrain, which is for the Lord of the Rings uh, Games Workshop game. These are these are some pretty hefty giveaways. Um, and all we're asking for you guys to do to help us out is help us reach uh, $50 an episode. Now, as I said, we do between 8 and 10 episodes every, uh, every month. And... Uh, you know, you don't have to. You don't have to back every single episode. You know, you you are you are allowed to set your own limit. Um, so it, it's it's uh, it's up to you guys how you want to do it. But it is a case of we need to reach that numeric because at least at that numeric we can afford to pay Gamers Realm for whatever we film there. But I wanted to at least give you guys at least a heads up as to what's going on. I like to play it uh, play it pretty open. I want to make sure that you guys know what's going on so that you don't feel like you're being taken advantage of. But that is the case. This is where we sit right now. We we need the money. Um, I, I, I hate coming with a hat in hand, but unfortunately my hand has been pressed. Huh. Well, now that, that unpleasantness about Patreon is out of the way, uh, by the way, again, I will put the link to that down below. Uh, now it's uh, up to uh, what we've got coming up. Uh, what we have coming up is a massive backlog of stuff that I have been doing, uh, that we've been reviewing and otherwise, and just bat reps, bat reps, bat reps, which is again why we, we need the money. Um, so we have a Summoner's Wars bat rep that's coming up, we have, uh, Dungeons and Dragons Attack Wing, where we've got Star Wars X-Wing miniatures, uh, bat reps coming up, uh, Joshua Tumbry has done, 
uh, some reviews of miniatures and some game reviews. Uh, I'm looking forward to posting those for you guys. Uh, in addition, I'm actually going to be diving into my massive, massive backlog. I mean, there is stuff we filmed when we first got started that I have just not had the time to really sit down and get um, processed for you guys. I would like to actually start getting that done. Uh, in addition, we have some game reviews that I've done that, again, have been sitting kind of on the back burner um, that desperately need to get out. So I'm looking forward to do, uh, getting those to you. And uh, some unboxings. And uh, just, a, just a whole slew of stuff that needs to get done. Plus, obviously, we're going to have uh, tons of videos coming out of the two conventions that we're covering. So that's going to have us going for a while. But, again, uh, tons and tons of content. So, uh, wow. We've already reached a little over uh, 15 minutes. We're actually heading into 16 minutes at this point. Uh, I want to thank everybody who's uh, stuck with me through this uh, vast rambling. Uh, again, I hope that everybody's, uh, 2015 is going well so far, and I hope that you guys are, got a lot of games for the holidays, that you guys are enjoying those games, and hopefully you guys are better at me than, uh, taking down your, uh, holiday decorations. I still have my Christmas tree up. I was gonna actually, <laughs> fun little story from my personal life, um, I was taking out the, um, decorations out of the front lawn, uh, a couple of days ago, but the earth is so frozen and so solid that... I pulled up the decorations, but the stakes are still stuck in the ground, and I can't get them out without potentially snapping them because they're made out of plastic, and with the temperatures being as they are, the plastic is brittle, so that's going to be the end of that. Uh, so things have been sort of, sort of crazy. Uh, work has been nuts and everything else. But I want to thank everybody for sticking with me, uh, listening to my, again, my, my ramblings. And, um, yeah, please at least take a, to take a moment to consider and visit our Patreon page and consider uh, backing us. So, uh, this is going to be Dave from Gamers on Games uh, signing out for now. Thank you.